Hi guys, welcome to Living in Racine. I'm Russell Mann and today we're going to be discussing architecture. In specifically, we're going to be talking about Cape Cod homes. Yeah. Uh, here we go. <laughs> So the Cape Cod home is a low, broad, single or double story frame building with moderately steep pitched gabled roof and a large central chimney. Originating in New England in the 17th century, the simple symmetrical design was constructed of local materials to withstand the stormy weather of Cape Cod. The building gained in popularity uh, and adaption to modern needs in the 30s to 50s, 1930 to 1950. Now, originated the building type originated in the wood building counties of England and was brought to America by Puritan carpenters. The harsh climate of New England tested the pioneers' ingenuity, and by lowering the house and pulling its plan into a more of a square footprint they transported the English hall and parlour house, now called the Cape Cod Cottage, and the type has survived and emerged as a one to one and a half storey house with wooden shutters and a clapboard or shingle exterior. Using local materials, cedar for roofing and siding, shingles, uh, oak and pine for framing and flooring. Settlers built houses locally adapted to New England's extreme weather conditions. Uh, temperatures in January and February can drop to minus 20 to minus 30, uh, with snow accumulations often reaching several feet. To fight the chill, they built massive central chimneys and low ceilinged rooms to conserve heat. The steep roof characteristics of the New England homes minimize snow load. Uh, finally, colonists installed shutters on the windows to hold back the heavy winds. Now, the building was given the name Cape Cod Homes by the Reverend Timothy Dwight the Fourth. He was president of Yale University during in 1795 to 1817, and he coined the term Cape Cod House after a visit to the Cape in 1800. His observations were published posthumously in Travels in New England and New York. Uh, the type was popularized more broadly in a slightly more elaborate colonial revival uh, it, during the 1930s and 50s, though traditional unornamented capes remain common in New England. Over the years, owners have doubled the full cape and added wings to the rear or the sides. Typically single story dormers were added for increased space, light and ventilation. A screened in porch was sometimes added to one side of the home, rarely the front, and that's the Cape Cod home. So um, I expect you've seen some of these around. Here's some pictures of the Cape Cod home originally and a more modern Cape Cod home. So you can see the difference and where changes have taken place. Still with the uh, with the central chimney that heats the whole house, uh, being in the middle, it spreads the heat evenly. And so that was how they stayed warm. Now we have better insulation materials now. So there's not such a need for the low ceilings um, to conserve the heat. And most houses now have, you know, central heating, central air, etc. So if you have a Cape Cod or you have a design of house and architecture that you want to know a little bit more about, drop a line below and I'll be happy to uh, discuss that further. Bye for now.